Hi, welcome to Excelworks video tutorials. In this video, we will demonstrate the use of the integration function quad xy for discrete data points. Let's begin by jumping to the help page for quad xy. Quad xy is convenient for integrating a set of xy data points. For instance, you may have empirical data that you wish to compute the integral of. Quad xy does this by fitting a spline curve to the data. Uh, it requires two parameters, the uh, x-points, a vector of x-points, and the corresponding y-points. The first optional parameter gives you full control over the curve fitting. Uh, you can specify the order, uh, information about the endpoint conditions for the spline, as well as uh, if you know if the data is periodic, you can indicate this for a better fit, and you have also have a smoothing factor for the uh, fit. The uh, second optional parameters, uh, parameter allows you to select limits other than your range. For the default limits for the integration are dictated by the range of your x vector, but you may wish to uh, uh, start from different limits. Of course, these limits have to be within your range. And the third optional parameter is a weighing factor for these points. Uh, the default is that they are both equally all points are equally weighted and the default is one but you may wish to uh, emphasize more points than others by providing weights these weights have to be strictly positive let's demonstrate the use of quad x y uh, for an example in excel uh, this is the example here we are going to sample our data points from uh, the function f of x uh, with a known integral over the limits 1 to 2. In general you do not know the function but this will give us the uh, opportunity to compare the integration to the known value. So I'll begin by generating my x points in increments of uh, 0.05 in the vector a uh, taking advantage of the uh, autofill. So I'm going to generate let's say about 20 of them that will twenty one that will take us from one to two. Uh, next I'm going to generate the corresponding y points um, by evaluating the function at these points from the formula. And again, using the autofill, I can generate the rest of the y vector. Now, to integrate my set of xy data points, all I need to do is invoke my quad xy in any cell. Passing the x vector, which is in, I can simply do this by selecting the vector. And similarly, I can do this by selecting the y vector. And I compute this answer. Let's compare this to the exact answer, 9 minus lin2. We can evaluate it in d2. And it's pretty close to what we have computed here at least to six decimal places. Next, let's try to exercise some of the optional arguments for demonstration. We'll begin by changing the order of the cubic fit from cubic to linear and see how this affects the accuracy of the answer. So, going to
now for my optional arguments I'm going to use a constant array so all Excel lab functions have the similar fo similar format for the control parameters they are key value pairs the keys are always strings and you can always go to the manual page for a given function to find what the available keys are in this case for the order we have the order and it takes a value of either one or three so uh, we'll pass one the default is three so i'm passing my key which is order and the value for this key is one of, as we can see the uh, answer has changed uh, it does seem that the uh, linear spline fit over estimates the answer now another thing we can demonstrate is the limits so now the limits for this integral are from 1 to 2 which are dictated by the range of the x data points now i can change the limits by specifying different limits and the format for the limit is you can either pass one number which will be taken as the lower limit or you can pass two numbers which will be taken for the lower and upper limit so if i just simply pass one i will not change anything so let me bring this back to the uh, cubic integration so we have a reference point so if i pass one it's identical to not passing anything because i will just take one as a limit but if i pass for example 1.1 then i'm changing the lower limit and obviously your integration changes it becomes smaller as expected because it's a smaller range i can also for example pass the lower and upper limit as a constant array so i'm integrating from 1.1 to for example 1.9 and this further makes the integral value smaller because we have narrowed the range uh, there's really not much to the uh, quad xy it's very simple to use uh, if you know something about these data points and you may and you wish to uh, give more emphasis to some points over others you can exercise the third optional arguments by providing weights uh, corresponding weights for these points these weights have to be strictly positive uh, thank you for listening uh, again uh, keep checking the uh, website excel-works.com for updated videos